Hey, how's it going? And today we are just putting Lightwave 2023 through its paces. And one of the new features it has is a text generator. You used to be able to do that already, but you had to go from Modeler into here, and now you can just do it in here. So it's super easy to do, even easier than it was. So all we have to do is create a null object, and we can just leave it called null. And then we go into Properties, and then I guess this is considered an object replacement, so we just go to the text generator, and right away there is our text. And so, if we want to change it, I just click that P, and then I have all these, all these properties I can change. So I can just say, life is what you make it, and go update, and just like that. And I can change the font type, which is pretty incredible. Sometimes before I'd get into issues with like extra polygons generating. And so far, I haven't seen that happen here yet. So to be completely honest with you, I did, when I was messing around with this earlier, it did crash and I went to report it and the crash reporter appeared to be broken. So I'm not sure who you report that to, but I know things are in a state of flux right now and I'm just happy to see that the program has a new lease on live. I did a tutorial on this before and you can really create some super cool logos in here. It's so easy to animate them. Like if I want to just turn this now, let's say I want to make this eight seconds. I'll make it 240 frames. I'll just send the playhead all the way down to the end. And then on rotation, on the heading, I just turn it any way I want to turn it. Is it like that? And go back to the beginning and just like that, we have a turning logo, a spinning logo. Now it looks like I might need to change my origin on that, but it's super cool. And then you can start playing around with adding different surfaces to it. So that's super cool. So this is definitely a big improvement. So if I come in back in here and I want to mess around with the properties some more down here. So we have depth, bevel inset, bevel depth. Let's see if I put that to one. What does that do? Oh, it pushes it back a little bit. Bevel inset, what does one look like? Oh, that really over, that's over depth. No, it's not going to work. 0 0.05. Update. I see. So yeah, there's all these settings you can play around with. You could add more subdivisions to it. This is kind of a cool feature because if you set, there's three different surfaces on here. And if you set like the the face which would be this front part to one setting like i can show you real fast if we come into surface and we go into double click on an image i'll just i'm just going to grab a random image here but let's say i just grab uh i'll grab this one and then i just pop it in here and project it down the z Oops, I guess I gotta close that and come back in here. P, I guess it's open still. And I update it. Well, I guess I update it on the bevel so you can see where it is on the bevel. But look, if I switch the face to the bevel and update, now it's projecting on there so that's really convenient so this feature gets a big two thumbs up and it makes it so easy to make titles animated titles and text it's not even funny and they look good that's fantastic